may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer requests in the bottom. It's been a long day, between classes, work, everything, you name it, I'm doing it at one time, and I'm just tired. Uh, today, been a crazy day, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, I'm never, I'll be honest with you, I've never seen a day like this. Uh, the news has just been off the charts, I've never seen, I'll be honest with you, I've never seen anything like it. Now... When we go back to the warning we got on Saturday, that everything starts here. And he said specifically, to look up, it leads to the rapture that, that's going to keep moving. So what I do believe is coming. Like I said, we it's hard putting this stuff together sometimes with what we get. But we're going to come into something else I got this morning that we're going to discuss here. And God's sheep, like I said, you go to him for confirmation on it, okay? And also, Shelly was gotten something tonight, too. So we're going to go over all this stuff that we're getting. Now, this morning, I mentioned about the doorbell that woke me up. I have that little Amazon thing with the camera on it. I'm sure a bunch of y'all have it. It's distinct. You know it. And when that thing, ding, 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 then somebody started pounding on the back door. There was nobody there. But when I woke up, the Holy Spirit told me 743. And told me 747. And I didn't, I didn't know what they meant, but I just automatically, I do what the Holy Spirit tells me to do and I type it out. So I don't forget it because I'm bad, but I did not go back to sleep. Now, a lot of people check this out in the Strongs and it means an archangel, a chief angel, ruler of angels. That was from the doorbell itself when God told me 743. And that's what we got with that. It's the 743. That was in the Strong's. Uh, this is in the Hebrew. hope I'm getting this right. Shelly's going to kill me. And the Hebrew for 743, I hope you're all sitting down. The proper name is short for a son of uh, Haman. And uh, let's see. It's a son of Haman. It's of Persian origin. That's Iran. So that's what he was warning me about this morning that Iran's about to do something. I don't know what they're getting ready to do. He hasn't told me. A lot of people's like, well, can you give us more? That's not the way it works. Now, all these other people that get this stuff, they add to it, their own stuff. I don't do that. I only give you what I get. That's just what I do. I do not add a bunch of stuff to scare you. That's not what I do here. We build hope, and we tell you not to be afraid. And that was the whole reason why God gave it to us. So everybody wouldn't be afraid when all these events start to roll out. And they're going to roll out. They're already rolling out. All right. Now, 747. Uh, it's a founder, leader, the first, and the to lead properly, the first in a long procession, a file leader, a shepherd. Okay. So that was the 747, a shepherd, what we call it, a shepherd. Now, let's see. I think this one's the one in the Greek, I think. Uh, to lead properly. I think I just did that one. Yeah, this one's in the Greek. 747. Uh, proper name, masculine. It's also a Persian, uh, Persian origin, a son of Haman. So, in both, that I know there's no way I could have known that both numbers in the Strongs led to the same conclusion about Iran. There's no way I could have known it. In the Hebrew, it's the uh, same thing. It's a Persian origin. So he was pointing to an archangel showing up, giving us the uh, son of Haman, which was 
all referencing to the same thing, Persia, which is Iran. That was the warning that I got this morning. I didn't even know what it was until we put it together. Now, A23 for family members. Uh, and we're going to tell you this is what Shelly got about 8.23 tonight. Uh, I just heard a very authoritarian, God wants all eyes on him so they will know that it is from him. So he wants everybody to look to him, all eyes on him, so they'll know it's from him. So something's getting ready to happen. Now, these are the two verses he gave, gave her today, and they're, they're very telling about where we're headed. Jeremiah twenty five fifteen, the cup of the Lord's wrath. 15, thus the Lord, the God of Israel, said unto me, Take from my hand this cup of wine and wrath, and make all the nations to whom I send it to drink. Then he gave a revelation, 14.10. He also will drink with them wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger. He is tormented with fire, fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. So God's about to pour out wrath. That is what's coming. And that's what we got today. So this stuff is coming. So everybody keep your eyes on him. And he said also with all the stuff that we got tonight to go to him for confirmation. That's what she got from the Holy Spirit. Very clear, she said, just like I got that very clearly this morning, the 743 and the 747, which is a warning about Iran. So the other day he told us the fifth was started and many people got it. I mean, there's probably 35 to 40 people got about the fifth that it was going to start. That was the economy. Now, tonight they're talking about, let me get back in there. It's pretty disturbing. Now, they're talking about right now they're having an emergency meeting about uh, Professor Siegel calls for a 1.5 uh, rate cut. Now, these are they're not going to solve anything. This is what got us into trouble in the first place. It's just more stuff to make it explode when it does. And people are going to eat this up. They're all going to buy back in and lose everything they have. And these people are going to steal their money. That's what's coming. A 0 0.75 cut in, emergency, uh, in the emergency meeting that was done tonight. Another 0 0.75 cut in September. You think groceries are expensive now? There is nobody going to be able to afford groceries. That's why I said we got to be gone. We can see what's coming, and it's wrath. Okay, it's already begun. People have not figured that out yet. But remember, this is something that people have a really hard time, and I'm going to try to slow this down and explain it the best way I can, brothers and sisters. Listen, I'm not here to scare you. Like I said, there is nothing for you to be scared of. We're leaving. Remember, he said, starting today to be looking up. Okay, so things are going to start to crash he said, but don't be afraid. I'm going to get you in time. It's not going to get better. People thought it was just today and it was going to end. No, that's not what he said. It starts today and it continues. It's not going to be good. There are some bad things. And he warned me about Iran. So whatever Iran has, I don't know what it is, but it's enough for me and him to tell me and warn me about. Okay. All right. So these hikes and the groceries, all this stuff, it plays into it. It's just not going to get any better. It's going to get worse from here on out, starting today. So you be looking at the sky. Don't take my word for it. And everything we got today, that tonight, that he gave us to give to you, he wanted you to go to him and ask him. So that's in your hands to do that. Okay? But with everything else, right now, it just came out about 10 minutes ago that there is explosions in Iraq. We don't know what's going on there, but this just started coming in. There is explosions at uh, Baghdad Airport have just started coming in. Now back to the explaining. The world is teeter-totting right now, okay? But people today think there's gonna be something bad to see before we leave, and that's not the way it's gonna happen. The Bible does not say that. The Bible specifically says the world will not see this. See, today, even after all that happened today, we even got the replies to comments. Well, what happened today? They don't see it. But if a nuke goes off in Iraq or, or close to Israel, if they start going off, people are going to see that. And the Bible says they don't. 
So that means they're still be drinking, marrying, and having a good time. That means there's no civil war. There's no lockdowns. None of that stuff. It's still normal, for say, out there to them. Not you. You see it. They don't. We've had many people today that was trying to talk to loved ones. And it's like they just, they're like, oh, it always happened. That, that's the, and that's exactly what Jesus said they would say in the last days. They won't see it. They won't. They don't want to see it. And you'll have them in the comments, but there's nothing you can do for them. Not some of these people. They just won't see it. And the Bible says they will always make excuses. That's what they're going to do. They're going to make excuses. They're going to say, what's the promise of his coming? And they're not going to see it. In the last days, just like they did when Noah told them that the rain was going to come, they laughed at him. They mocked, they scoffed, all this stuff. And then it was too late for them. Well, that's going to, he said, it'll happen exactly the way it did with Noah. Exactly. It will be normal. And it was normal to the day it started raining, but it, the boat was sealed at that day that the rain started and they tried to come back and get on the boat and you couldn't get in it. That's going to happen again. So up until this thing, there's going to be no warning signs for them. They're not going to see it. They're going to say, oh, that's happened before. They're going to make excuses. And then it's too late. That's what's coming. That's what God's warning everybody about. Normal is going to run out. But before that normal runs out, we're gone. Okay? Whatever happens, they're not still not going to figure it out when we leave. Now, during a loud event, remember, we've talked about this many times. Whatever this event is, they're all looking at it. We disappear during that event. I don't know if it's a nuclear thing. What? I don't know. As I said, God gives me stuff. He gives me warnings. But I'll tell you one thing. I've never got a 48-hour warning like I did for things to start like they did, but he gave it to many other people. I won't take credit for any of it. I just, I just heard it. And I brought it to you because I love you guys. And God wanted you all to know so you wouldn't be scared when these events start to take place so you would know that he's got it under control and he'll get us out on time. And, they, and a lot of people didn't respect that. They made fun of it. They thought it was a joke and it just disrespected him. It's not, you're not making fun of me. I repeat it, and I, many other people got the same thing. He told many people, you know, he loves us enough to try to give us so, so we wouldn't be afraid when all this stuff starts to go down. He loves you, and he's letting you know that, hey, I'm still in control, and I think it's awesome. That's why I wasn't, today was awesome. I'm like, man, he is on the throne because he warned us right before it happened. And we all know that anything that comes after this point, he's in control. And we don't have nothing to fear. And that is what he wanted you to know. But wrath is coming. They'll say that the wrath ain't coming, but it's coming for them. And there's no stopping it. U.S. President Biden and VP Harris have told U.S. intelligence experts a scenario involving two waves of attacks. One from Hezbollah and one from Iran. They're saying it will be multi-day when it happens. Now, what's happening right now, Russia has been airlifting air defense systems into Iran for their capital and I guess for their their uh, nuclear plants, places like that. So they've been, I think they've been doing it now for about 40 hours, uh, literally just literally constantly bringing in air defense systems to them. As I said, Russia and China have taken the side of Iran. Suffocating pressure inside Israel for a preemptive strike on Iran and a generalized war, Russian arms airlift to Tyron, uh, to uh, Tehran. Like I said, they're they're bringing in the air. Once them air defenses are all in place, all hell is going to break loose upon the earth. That's what's going to happen. A preemptive strike against Iran. This is something that Israel tonight. They've been in meetings after meetings talking about maybe launching tonight against them if they think that they're truly going to be a really bad attack. And like I said, they've been moving ballistic missiles around for two days and getting them in position. So something that leads to a generalized war is being asked from Netanyahu by the opposition and many top officials of the defense and security uh, sector. The pressure is growing after the confirmed information about the transfer of Russian weapons to Tehran. Uh, everyone shows the Middle East is going through a very critical moment. The Iran attack will not just end just like it did last time. It's going to be different. That's why God was warning us not to be afraid. 
According to Israel's media, CAN News, Israel is preparing for an immediate response against Iran when it attacks, but we don't know if they're going to do it before. Israel's Defense Minister Yohan Gallant today visited the Israel Air Force's underground command and control center and IDF headquarters there in Tel Aviv, the Korea, the, uh, to ensure the preparations for an Iran and Hezbollah attack. But it's not going to just come from those two. Yemen's involved and Syria. Syria has been, we've uh, seen a major movement. Uh, Iran has moved a lot of missiles into Syria for the Syrian uh, use, and Iraq's got them too. They're going to be going, shooting missiles in from five different fronts. As I said, it's, it's going to be something to behold. But you remember, God is always in control. According to the Times of Israel, Israel is considering launching preemptive strike to deter Iran if it finds hard evidence that Tehran is preparing to attack, Jewish media reported. Now, the problem is, is that America is in the way. America is trying to control Israel. They, won't, they don't want them to do a preemptive strike. They don't want them to do this. They don't want them to fight back. They want them to sit and take it. And that is literally what God's been showing me for a while now that he's tired of that. That's why I told you, America's not coming back. God is done. And the world's about to see it, that he's done with America. They ain't figured it out yet, but I promise you, in the upcoming days, they will figure it out. It's concerning uh, launching a preemptive strike to deter Iran if it finds aired evidence, like I said. The council included Defense Minister Yvonne Gallant, IDF Chief and Staff Lieutenant General. Opposition leader uh, Gal Lepid has criticized Israel's leadership for its handling of the Iran threat, arguing that there, should, there is no deterrence in our, and no government. I would like to ask Israel's government is what we are seeing in the last days of the new everyday life, Lepid uh, asked during the uh, party's weekly meeting at the Knesset. It is acceptable to you that the next five days the entire country is sitting on waiting to be bombed. Is this the new normal? where Northerners won't get hit, uh, get hint from the government about when they can go home. He continues accusing the government of not even pretending to try to, to evacuate Northerners back to their cities. The new normal is the new uh, parents don't go to public parks because it's far from a shelter. Everyone is waiting and waiting, and they don't know what they're waiting for, Lapid said. Now, here's the thing. The Knesset wants to use nuclear weapons. They want to use the, the Samson option, okay? BB's trying to stop that, but they have literally, it's on the table. And for God to be warning us about Iran, now Iran is not going to be destroyed, neither is Israel. They both play out, okay? They play out in the tribulation in Jacob's trouble. But it doesn't mean that they can't get hit pretty hard, okay? But like I said, God is in control. We're leaving here soon. The rapture of the church is any moment. Before this can get to the point of chaos, we'll be gone. Just like Bob. Bob has always, you know, all the data that Bob uh, has gotten there at End Times Dream and Vision, it's the same thing from a lot of people. The missiles go up, we go up when they're coming down. Now, this loud event could be that event. And the data pr shows that. Because there's so many that's had it. So I do believe the allowed event will be the missiles going up and coming down when we go up. With Everybody's going to be watching that, and we're going to disappear. So I do believe that is how this is going to go down. Israel is threatening to destroy Damascus off the cliff, you know, off the face of the earth. That's Bible prophecy. You know, I was listening to Watchman River, Brother Tom, and, uh, He's all over this. You know, basically, he's right. You should be looking up. And that's what the Lord told us, you know, starting today, you need to be looking up because the redemption comes is near, okay? That is what's happening right now. Jesus is waking us up. He's telling us that the wrath is coming. These people that think America's coming back and there's going to be an election, they're going to get a rude awakening. But you that are awake, that are hearing and like I said, you go to God right now, and he will show you that this is it. This is not going to get better. There's no great revival coming. These people, these churches are going to be dealt with by God himself. They've lied to people, and they have confused people, and that's not what the message was. The earth has 
a set time. Mankind's time is running out. The 6,000 year time period is running out on man. I'm telling you right now, man only gets 6,000 years on this earth. That's it. And then it's over. Jesus will come, get the church, and then the seven-year tribulation will happen. That is what's coming. You see, we quit teaching that years and years ago because the devil didn't want it taught, just like he wanted the rapture not taught. But these all these people are about to find out they should have went back to the original gospel, unfortunately, for a lot of people. Oh, people, what times we live in. It is like nothing I've ever seen. Today, we had literally 22 different things. We had a major volcano erupting, flooding in Florida like we've never seen. We had riots all over the place. The economies around the world, Japan, people literally lost everything they had. I mean, this was so bad around the world. And people today in America, they're so spoiled that if it doesn't affect their pocketbook, they don't care. they just like, yeah, whatever. And that's what we got in the comments. Those are spoiled. But let me tell you something. One day here soon, it's very soon, America's about to get the wake-up call they never thought they was going to get, and it's going to be too late. God is not protecting America. That was He showed us that on April the 8th. Now it's over. He is not putting a guy into the presidency. He's not coming to save it. That was the first message he gave to me when I started this that he's coming back, not this country. Now, I'm telling you, the warnings have been going out to multiple thousands of people. And I'm telling you, by everybody is looking that direction and things are going to get better, they will not. They're going to get worse. But it's nothing to fear. Because like I said, we're going home. This is not your home. Up there's home. The world as we know it today is about to end. And it's going to be very, and it's going to hit them hard. They're not going to see it coming, just like he said. They'll be out laughing, joking, making fun of us and everything else, and it'll be too late. That's exactly, he said, it will be exactly like the days of Noah. They laughed at him every single day. They threw rocks at him. They did everything. And he just kept telling them, you need to get on that boat. And they just wouldn't listen. But when that rain, first raindrop hit, they come a-screaming and a-running. It's too late. If you think you're going to wait till the last second and you're lost and just get on the, it ain't going to happen. Get off the fence now. Trust in the blood of Jesus. That is the only way. It's through the blood. He died for you. He died for me. He died for everyone that's listening to this right now. And all you got to do is believe that he, he literally died on that wooden cross and shed his blood for you. He died. He conquered all sins, people. He eliminated it right there. He did it all. We, it's not about us. It's not about what we do. It's to believe what he did for us. That's what this is all about. This is not hard. But I pull you, if you're on the fence, do not wait till tomorrow. I'm telling you, we're at a time now where it could be the next two hours that this is over. I promise you, this is coming to an end. Without a doubt, we're seeing Bible prophecy. The Bible does not lie. When you see this things that we're seeing now, that it's literally word for word. Brother Tom said it correctly. You better be looking up. He said it won't. It doesn't have to get to the middle of it, to the end. It said when it starts, it's already started. You better be looking up. Because this road is coming to an end. It's not going to get better. It's going to be seven of the worst years of hell. And just, well, he gave Shelly tonight. The wrath is going to be like nothing you've ever seen. And it's coming. He's warning everybody that he's bringing it. I advise you to get, I'm telling you, you can sit and say whatever you want. But it's coming. And you're not going to stop it. The wrath of God is coming any day now. And it's going to engulf this world. We don't want to see anybody left here. That's why we're doing this day in, day out, day in, day out. Hopefully we can snag three or four people and throw them on that boat before we get out of here. That's two or three that didn't have to go through this hell that's coming any day now. And I do mean any day now. It's coming. 
Now, Jesus said in the last days, they people won't believe it. They won't believe in him. They won't believe that this wrath is coming. And here we are. Just like he said, they don't believe it. They don't, they ignore it. I know Bonnie McCoy tonight, she was trying to get some other people she was talking to. They're like, well, no, I don't have time to watch that. They didn't have time for God. I've said that today. I've talked to people. They didn't have time for God today either. Do you know what's happening in the world? Oh, we don't, we don't watch that. We don't have time for that. They don't have time for God now, but I promise you, one day soon, they'll wish they spent five minutes. But right now, Americans, they don't have five minutes to spare for God. And you think he's coming to save America? Really? You all better wake up. Because he ain't coming to save it this time. I promise you. He's warned and he's warned and he's warned over and over. And the warnings are going to stop. One day here soon. Could be tomorrow. Could be the day after. But I promise you it's coming. Man ain't going to save you. Man is going to be destroyed. That's what's going to happen. Get on that boat before it's too late. Do not wait another day. I promise you, we do not have that kind of time. What you're seeing now with Israel uh, literally threatening Damascus and everything that's happening with Israel and Iran, it even specifically, go into Daniel 9, Daniel 10. Let me tell you something. You read that and you're like, okay, I need to get saved if you're not saved. Because, I mean, it's word for word what's happening right now. Persia's pulling everybody in. And it will start all this stuff. It will generate the Russia, Ukraine, America. All it's going to engulf it all. Bible doesn't lie. The choice is yours. We've laid it out in front of you. We've even told you to go to God, ask Him, have it confirmed, and He will. He said, "Go to Him." It's what He wanted me to tell you. You go to Him. You see, people don't want to know. They just want to believe it's all a fairy tale. But I promise you, your worst nightmares are are coming. It's no fairy tale. Revelation sums it all up. And it's probably worse than what even we get on that. It's probably a whole lot more worse. Seven year, worst years in human and this world's history. And let me tell you something, there's been some bad history on this planet. And this seven years makes them look like a cakewalk. It's that bad. But you that are saved, you're one day closer to seeing your family members and being in a place where we don't ever have to deal with this stuff ever again. What a glorious day that will be. We'll be in a, in a place where everybody loves God. No more mocking Him. No more spitting on Him. Everybody is all together. That'll be a great day. That's what I look forward to. A day where no more mean people I ever have to see or deal with again. Because this world, that's all it is, is mean people that just don't love anything. And I'm tired of mean people. Want well, to know what I look forward to? Jesus, number one. Number two, no more mean people. I've had to deal with them since I was a kid. Just mean people. Don't matter how much you love them, how much good you are to them, they're just mean and evil. That's what this world is. And it's about to be cleansed very soon. All right, so we've wrapped up everything tonight. If anything else comes on, there's something else just came out. Let me see what this is. Something came out. Let's see. Breaking Iran media reported that Iran has requested advanced. Yeah, we've just got that. The prayer, uh, they've already got that. Uh, Russia's been sending that out, but they keep repeating it. I don't know why. About the air defense systems, they've been getting it from Russia for, for I think forty some hours. They've been flying them in, so they should be put in place by tomorrow, or if tonight, if Israel doesn't remember, we've got what a couple more hours. Israel could do a preemptive strike against them and into the night. So, like I said, we're this close, but understand, there's nothing to be afraid of, nothing to fear. That's why he told us beforehand, so we would know. That he's got our back. So when we think this is going to be out of control and the rest of the world's having heart attacks, scared about what's coming, not us. Do not be afraid. Jesus told us beforehand so you would not be afraid. He's got your back. He loves you and he's basically sent you a letter letting you know, I've got you. You will not face this stuff. I will pull you out in time. So don't you worry. Trust only in Jesus. Do not take your eyes off of him, just like I told you in the beginning. He wants you to have your eyes on him so you'll know 
what's happening is him. Okay? Trust in the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Trust in Jesus. Don't listen to man. Go to Jesus and Jesus alone right now. Turn everything else off, people. I'm telling you, right now is the time to be focused only on Jesus. That's it. Because we are at the end. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.